Hello everybody and welcome back to Making History 2 and today we are continuing with the Rocky Mountain States game, the second Rocky Mountain States game for the Man in the High Castle mod. And last time, uh, last video was pretty damn slow because, uh, because of the gigantic manpower problem and because of all the factories I have to build, but I think, uh, I think we, we got quite a bit done last video, yeah, we got, we got a, a good chunk of cities up to, uh, upgraded to mechanized, oh, okay, well, we got all the, we got all the buildings, uh, built in the places, in the, uh, cities, whatever, man, I have no idea. But yeah, uh, we annexed, annexed Canada and Mexico because, you know, <laughs> I learned the hard way that we just need manpower and we can't rely on the AI for anything. So yeah, we're, we're in a def, we're definitely in a stronger position than we were, but it's still going to take a while. 28.44. Still going to take a while. Just like these turns, which is nice. Wait. Okay, finished a the factory there. So, yeah, I think it's just going to be a whole lot of more building factories. Yeah, we got all these. We got those those ones started. Wait, did we just... I thought we were, like, one turn away from... Whatever, I don't care. Oh, yeah, we also have much more... Many more technology points this time around as well. So that's gonna that's gonna just allow us to um, tech up much faster, which is gonna allow us to go into war. Probably, probably by the time we get a large enough force built up, we'll probably have the technology to uh, go to war. Well, I mean, we'll we'll have to actually like get all the technology we need first. You know, because of the whole ballistic missile situation from last game. Uh, yeah. That, that's wild. That's crazy that those things... That's crazy that those things are, like, so powerful. They're so much more powerful than, like, the main battle tank 2s. The most powerful tank in the game. Like, the only thing the tank has over the ballistic missile... Is the, uh... Is hit points. The ballistic missile is cheaper, it does more damage, it has equal defense and damage. So yeah, it's that's that's crazy. That's never happened before either, because when I play the base game, I never usually the AI usually never gets that far to uh you know start spamming ballistic missiles like that, but yeah, I guess this time they did for whatever reason they chose to spam that instead of super heavy tanks. Which super heavy tanks are so much more easy to deal with. They just they just have a ton of hit points, but I think the main battle tanks outperform them in terms of damage. They might have more defense just because of how much armor, but <laughs> they take a lot more. I think they take they probably take more than uh ballistic missiles and don't do much better don't do any better don't do better at all uh, all these I think okay yeah so if they're, if they're up to 30 and they have a mechanized thing right there then it should be done Omaha should need two more yeah they'll need two more cottage factories but yeah since since the last part and this part I've played several more games of this. Just uh, just on conquest mode because that's the only that's the only mode where there's actual victory conditions. All the other ones are just at the end of the game the person who scores the highest in this wins and that's kind of just boring. I really w I really wish there were more kind of like objective type things in this game. But, you know, it is what it is. At least we get something. At least we get the, the cities thing. But, yeah, I, I played a game. I played a game as the United States. I, I played and finished a game as the United States. I did one as Japan. I did the China one, like, I think before I started this second game. So, and I'm... 
the the whole five factory per city thing, the whole five factory per city strategy, that 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 works very very well. And also just, I'm generally just overall getting much better at the game than I than I used to be. You know, learning learning how to kind of spread out, how to keep a border, just spread out like a tiny bit of guys here here here, and then have my entire force merged up into one. And then just smash stuff over and over again. And then spam bombers, spam tons of bombers, merge all those up into one forest, and then do tons of damage. Houston, Mira. Okay. So yeah, when, once the war starts, and once I have all the high tier units... I should be able to destroy the AI, even though they're gonna have crazy numbers over me. Just because I've I've been doing I've been playing a lot of this game and you know playing playing as the Japanese and crushing the Chinese that is a crazy numbers that's a crazy number gap but if you have the, if you got tanks and airplanes and they just have infantry then it doesn't take many tanks to overtake a bunch of infantry in terms of attack value and hit points the only problem is with the, with all this late game stuff because I was I was playing those games with my I guess my I guess custom mod you could say where I removed like half the fucking units from the game <laughs> because I just wanted a, like a straightforward simple game. Doing it like that is going to be much more different than doing it where all of the high tier units are unlocked, but it's going to be relatively the same. I assume I assume those ballistic missiles act as they just act as um, artillery because all the artillery they have equal attack and equal defense for each one of them. So I assume ballistic missiles are just really advanced artillery. Here we got digital computers done. Um, infantry weapons five. What the? F oh, the turn isn't loaded. Wait, what? Oh, okay, just loaded. What the fuck? Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, 25 turns, we'll have another research facility out in seven. And I think instead of worrying about the whole food situation, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy, buy it. I think I'm making a pretty good profit anyway, and I don't think food is that expensive. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let my food go. I'm just gonna let it go completely. I'd rather because it, it's literally a never it's a never ending sink of just shit. Like the population's never gonna stop growing. I'm never gonna need, like have enough food. Unless I go really crazy, but I just, I do not have the manpower to build farms and shit, so. Yeah. Not gonna worry about mechanized farms, any of that shit. Uh, Omaha finished the factory, they, yeah, they'll, this is, oh, nope. Okay, we're waiting for, oh, Jesus, not even halfway done with the turn. But, yeah, Omaha will need one more factory. Hello? Jesus Christ. Yeah, and also, all the other games I did with my mod, the, the turns just fly by, even late game. So, yeah, it's a little bit mind-numbing to have, have 47 countries take that long, when in the base game, there's 72, or I think 75. <laughs> there are countries that get eaten up pretty quick in that. And also way less, way less revolting going on in that. Oh, that's another thing I changed with the mod, with my mod too. I, uh, I basically remove stability because the AI, the AI does not know how to play the game. And I can't, I can't completely remove stability because there's a money thing. And, well, actually I can show it right here. I basically, I, no matter what happens, I basically made all of these be five. Just to maximize stability, but I haven't found how to change the uh, the money stability modifier. 
So the AI, they still just completely blow their shit and go like negative 167 for money or something. Or as, as negative as they can go. But there are still remarkably little revolts in all those games with my uh, simplicity mod. That's what I called it, simplicity mod, because it makes the game way simpler. But yeah, I, I did that because the AI just doesn't know how to play the fucking game. And it's way more fun to have a have an AI that's actually, like, somewhat able to defend itself. They still suck, but it, it's a little bit better if they're not revolting every five turns. Or every turn, like in this. So yeah, that's what I've been doing with this game. Um... I th actually, I think I'll start playing this game a lot more because I really, really enjoy it, especially with my simplicity mod. I really enjoy that. And the game, the other games, will they will go like, Jesus, they will go far faster than this. Because most most of the major nations you can play as have a pretty damn high. They prob they have at least at least fifty. MPU growth rate from the start. So it's almost double this. So things go much, much faster. And it's also easier, way easier to go and annex something and get more manpower units. Whereas in this, we're limited to just everything around us. Or we're only limited, we're limited to only Canada and Mexico for this because as soon as we declare war on anything else around us, it's just war with that entire alliance until the end of time. Uh, let's get, no, we'll get Wichita up to 25, um, 25 IPUs, five factories. And yeah, we don't really, we don't really need any arms right now. We don't need to worry about that. We do when it comes to upgrading, which, oh, we got the research facility out. Good. At, uh, 16, I think that cut off a few turns. We gotta. I uh, want to build a research facility there. Uh, where is that? That's uh, okay. We need to. Uh, we'll upgrade that. Upgrade that place to fifty. What's this? Okay, failed. Uh, where was it? Where was that? Oh no, oh shit, that was the total... Oh, this is it! Oh my god, I put... Fuck. I built the wrong damn... Oops. That was completely the wrong city. It started with an S, so I thought... Yeah. And I guess it had a K in the middle. Yeah, this one, this one right here, we gotta, we still gotta get, um, three more factories in there. Actually, I think, yeah, I think I'll just start factories in all these tens. Twelve turns. Yeah. Infantry weapons five. How far how far along are we? We are we Oh yeah, we're almost there. Yep. We'll just we'll bum rough bum bum rush. Actually no we won't. We'll bum rush pro pro oh my god programmable computers and then we'll start getting all this stuff and then once we're done with all the all the major techs then we'll probably just go get staged rockets because why not i doubt the ai is going to use icbms but oh they might they actually might considering they spam ballistic missiles so hard they might but yeah we're not we're not far off 
We're coming up on all the major, all the really powerful endgame techs now. Research is slowing down though. But I could probably try and I, I I just don't have the manpower. It's either it's either I build up my indus, industrial base or I build a bunch of research facilities. I think I think I'll get everything I'll get everything up to fifteen. That just seems like the best thing to do. Cause Three factories can pump out another cottage really relatively soon and then another one faster. Whereas ten ten factories or ten points it still takes like twenty turns to get it out get out another cottage factory, so Yeah. Alright, let's uh do a factory in Phoenix. I think we should be able to see the revolt risk, I think. Oh, revolt risk. Oh, I oh, I can only see it. Uh, I can only see it for my nation. Okay. Well, I assume most of I assume most of uh most of Russia there is uh pretty ready to revolt cuz they are literally doing it like every turn here. And most of Africa as well. Yeah, Germany. Germany just went down the shitter. No, <laughs> look at this. Negative 50. Yeah, they're... They're just getting ripped apart, but they can still maintain their... Oh, they're second. They're rank, ranked second. Who the fuck... Who the hell is first? Jeez, Japan is first. Fuck, maybe we'll go after the Germans first. Yeah, if we take all this, we'll get a lot more. Okay, yeah, maybe yeah, maybe going for the Germans first is a better idea. Yeah, they don't they don't really have any they got a bunch of stuff down here in South America. What the fuck is this? Red line. What the hell? What is this? Never seen that before. But yeah, I mean Germany is ripping itself apart. Although it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like those those revolts literally do nothing to their military. But they're gonna have to keep some units all the way over there in the mainland quite a bit if they don't want to get overwhelmed. And the actual German Empire. The German Empire itself doesn't have a direct border with me in all this. We don't have any direct connections. We got we got the eastern United States and eastern Canada. And then it's like that's it for for a while. So all all we really have to do is just kind of hunker down, protect the eastern seaboard and then just build up and build up and build up and build up. Which I've gotten pretty good at, when, especially when it comes to building ships. And then I'll, I'll go out and we'll just crush their entire navy. And then uh, shipping stuff over is going to be painful. We're obviously going to have to... I'll probably annex Ireland by the time we do that. I'll annex all this shit. Well, I assume... Yeah, that's a, that's a German puppet. Yeah, German puppet. So we'll... Well, island hop all the way up and across to the United Kingdom. <laughs> um, and then make the United Kingdom our little base. And then we could probably try and snag Berlin, which is... Oh my god, it looks like a fucking nightmare over here. Oh my, 202. They did six factories. <laughs> they got, they got seven. Yeah. 
I, I'm uh, I don't have the courage. I don't have the courage to go look at the world troops. Um, I it's going to be in the thousands. It's going to be well into the multiple thousand. Well, I have the courage right now. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Oh, well that ain't bad. Eight eight ninety three. That's not bad. And most of their puppets, most of their puppets and shit probably have absolutely zero technology. Because I know how it works in the editor for scenarios. I know how it works to get all the nations to have the same tech, especially when you're creating new ones. It's not fun to go through and do that manually for every single fucking nation. So I'm, I'm guessing that most of these have absolutely zero tech. They started from the very bottom. So a lot of their infantry is just fucking garbage. And a lot of this might be militia, which is even worse for them. Because militia, I, I removed militia from the game because for my mod. Because the AI just, all, all the tiny weak nations just spam the fucking shit out of it. And it just, it just jacks up the, all the numbers. And it's another situation where the AI, it has the opportunity to build decent units, but they never do because they're too busy spamming militia, which just gets like one shot by a, by an organized military. It just gets completely demolished in like one turn. So I remove that from the game because AI doesn't use that properly, which I don't think there is a proper way to use militia in this game. It's so fucking weak. It's unbelievably weak. So that's good. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, change of plans. We are sixth for tech. Negative five, negative five, negative five. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, ooh, point seven. Well, I mean, if we're sixth in the world, then that's uh, pretty damn good. These guys are eighth in the world. These guys are fifth. Okay, so these guys are one ahead of me. But I think I think the research... Oh, yeah, that doesn't even matter. I think the research here is the actual number of research points, not the amount of techs you have done. Because I've, I've finished the entire tree before and still been like third or fourth in technology because I think it just literally just counts the amount of research points not far not how far along you are in the tech tree oh if you're up it's five done um, national laboratories hello 25 turns it's gonna be a little bit but yeah let's see it how many, how many top-line techs do we have to do yet? Until we... Oh, whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six more to do. Advanced physics. Advanced physics, um, I guess... Oh, shit. Fuck. Uh, do I have rocket labs yet? I think I wanted to build those rocket engines. We need to, oh, oh no, aerospace engineering, okay. Uh, how much? How much do rocket labs cost? Rocket labs, 75, okay. Yeah, we'll start building rocket labs. Because as long as I have those ballistic missiles, at least if I, if I have a ton of them, even if I don't completely finish the tech tree by then, we should be good. Just as long as I can get those ballistic missiles out. So, uh, we'll build up, we'll build a, a rocket lab in each one of these cities. Um, hopefully it doesn't, it's gonna take a long time, but, you know, what the fuck doesn't. And until we have a good amount of rocket labs... We'll just keep running along that top line of the tech tree, and then when we're done with the, 
the required text. We'll just uh, do that. We'll we'll finish that. Wait, what? I lost my fucking train of thought there. I lost my sentence. <laughs> Thirty-eight. Well, actually, we can we can see what these. Okay, so they're using infantry four. They're using light tanks to infantry four gun howitzers. So the the United States is not that it's not very far behind me. But it's AI, so they're stupid as shit. So I should be able to uh, completely clown on them with the proper equipment. And I think I think the Germans. The Germans had a ton of bombers. Yeah, 157 bombers. I assume most of those are jet bombers. They have a ton of transports. Their navy really isn't that big, but <laughs> their bomber their bomber fleet is going to be able to dunk on my ships hard. Um, Japan has 13 carriers. 99 bombers. So Germany, Germany is number one in military. Like, not even close. What just happened? Yeah, yeah, all, all these... All these breakaways, all these civil wars and revolts, they really do nothing. So, oh, shit. Look at this. Look at that. Jesus Christ. I mean, if they if they land on if they take a huge number of their troops and land, it's over. Whereas Japan, they really don't have that much. They really don't. So shit, maybe like, maybe we'll go back. We'll, uh, we'll go back to um, the Japanese because they really don't have that much. Yeah, another rocket lab. That's going to take 10 turns to finish. So this is this is going to take 12 turns. Then this will probably take 16 turns to finish. Oh, we can start another one right now because we'll have enough manpower by the start of next turn. All right. Here we go, finish our first rocket lab. I think I think the rocket labs are all we really need. Oh no, we're gonna need a. I think we're gonna need the the turbojet thing. Whatever the fuck it's called. Um, everything we need to build should be at the top here. We got technology center. Uh, jet propulsion lab. Okay, okay, we need turbojet testing. We need to, oh, I guess, oh, we'll get that after National Laboratories then and uh, build a bunch of jet propulsion labs. And then for, for advanced, advanced jet fighters, I could just stick with, I think I'll just stick with improved. I don't, I'm not sure how much, how worth it that's going to be, those advanced ones. I think I'm just going to stick with jet bombers and improved jet fighters. But for those, we're going to need to build space labs or whatever that, orbital science labs. What do we got? 18 people. So yeah, we, need, we do need to build some specialized buildings, but not too many. And uh, I, do, I would need to build a bunch of... Uh, oh shit, we're going to need to build a bunch of naval academies though. And we, we only got... We got four... One... 
One, two, three, four. We got five cities on coasts, which can only build. Those are the only ones that can build naval academies. So we're, we're going to be lacking in, in the navy. And besides, half of those, half those cities I need to even, I need to build up in the first place. But uh, we're quite a long ways from trying to build up the navy. And it might not even be worth it. I might just, I'm going to need a few ships just to, you know, guard the transports. But I think a lot of the ship killing is going to be done with jet bombers rather than actual ships. Because this is late war stuff. Uh, start a rocket lab. Yep, 16 turns. And now we're going to focus on getting this place up to 25 and then getting it up to 50. Or I guess just 25. Now nah, we'll get it up to 50 first. We, we need to build a uh, research center there anyway. Four. There we go. Uh, if we, okay, we got enough to start another one, but yeah, we we need to just do factories now. We need two more cottage factories there. Oh my god, fuck me! The loading times are like pretty insane. Com compared to every other fucking game I've played of this, holy fucking shit! Except when I've done it on hard. When I've when I've cranked the difficulty up to ten, then it kinda it starts to take this fucking long. But I, I wonder I wonder how many units all these guys start with. And how much industry they start with. No, we could have started a factory this turn, but whatever. Go take a look at Germany. How are they doing? They got one, two, three, four, five, six. They got six rebellions going on. Yeah, it's a real shame that, uh, it's a real shame that these don't really mean anything. Those rebellions. But it's kind of hard to. Every, every single grand strategy game, it, oh fuck, I forgot to build a factory again. Every single grand strategy game has like, it's, it's very, very hard to like do guerrilla warfare and rebellions and stuff like that because it's, that's just not how the game's built. It's built for direct combat with huge armies. So you can't, you can't have like a tiny little contingent of guys running around causing major issues. Without just having it be crushed right away, based off the gate how the game is built. There we go. Finally starting that third rocket lab done. Uh, National laboratories will be done in eight turns. Then it's the uh, jet propul or whatever it is, jet propulsion lab tech, and then after that, after we get that jet propulsion lab done. Then we should probably be able to, um, we'll probably have enough rocket labs to do the, uh, whatever it is, whatever technology we need to do. That's, okay, let's see it. Where is it? It is. Okay, so as soon as we get advanced physics done, we can go straight to liquid fuel engines. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're gonna need to get this done anyway. Oh, we got okay. We're gonna have plenty of time to get all the uh, all the proper research equipment out and done. Okay, we got 
97 people, we can start another factory, uh, Oklahoma City. Oh, this place is going to need, like, I think, three more factories after this. We're going to need to get that up to 30. Because we have a mechanized factory there. Now we got a decent chunk of these guys up to, um, up to 15. But right now, I think I'll start focusing on these big guys. Any, anything over 15, anything over 10, I'll stay focused on right now. And probably get those all the way up to, I mean, large factories. I, I can get them all the way to industrial plants right now. I have the technology, but I just don't know. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. 50 is pretty decent. Although, not really. Again, because I, I've been playing with, uh... I've been playing with, like, all the late game units completely out of the game. So 50, 50 works fine for pumping stuff out. But for, you know, ballistic missiles and stuff like that, we're probably need to, gonna need to go to at least industrial plants. Or at, le at least large factories. So we're gonna need to go up to 75. What is this? Failed to make a breakthrough. Uh, we should be able to start another factory now. Saw some shit, some shit going on over here. What the fuck is this? Communist Russia. Well, they're actually allowed. They're actually being allowed to move around, it looks like. Pretty crazy. <laughs> two more fucking, two more fucking rebellions. Four turns till Houston's done. That's gonna be, that's gonna be five research or five rocket centers, and we got six cities on research overall. So yeah, we'll we'll be able to crank out that stuff. And I think it's way it's going to be way cheaper. It should be way cheaper than all the other stuff. Than like national laboratories and stuff like that. Uh let's see it. 300 research points, that's 450 we're on. So uh Yeah, it should go relatively quickly. 300 research points. Ugh. That's still gonna take some time though. Two turns. Oh, we're gonna get, uh. Oh no, National Laboratory's done one turn before. Uh, we'll build build another factory there. There we go. National laboratories. Now it's wait. It's uh turbojet testing. So we can build all the all the jet stuff. And then advanced physics. And then by the time advanced physics is finished, we should have everything we need to get liquid fuel engines. And this is going to take 16 turns. Yeah, that's, that's really good.
I think turbojet testing is about it's 250 points. So uh I guess I uh 50 more points. Probably uh the uh liquid fuel engines is probably going to take about 20 turns around there. Yeah, I think, yeah, I set that to a thousand. I think it's, it's just buying food and it's just going to slowly buy more and more and more and more. Uh, I think we can actually see it. Uh, yeah, we're importing a lot of food and we're losing a lot of money. <laughs> oh, shit. We're not losing too much, though. And if I really need more money, I can just throw... I can throw Edmonton or in Denver on like appliances or something else and get myself a ton of money. Actually, the, these appliances at boys are the only thing keeping me afloat right now. All right, we'll start another factory here next turn as soon as it's done. And then uh, I think we'll, we'll need two more. Yeah, we'll need to get it up to 30. Uh, where was it? Oh, right here. Two more factories. One more after that one. And then... Uh, 30, 30 should be enough to get the uh, research facility done. Yeah, I, got, I did it for Houston here. And this one's at 35. And now... Now I think I'll start upgrading... I'll start upgrading anything with a research facility up to 50. Including Houston. Just so when we're ready to start the turbojet, um, the re the jet facility, whatever the fuck it's called, just so when we're, when we're ready to start those, we can pump them out even faster. Oklahoma, that's up to twenty. Uh, 54? Okay, Mexico. Uh, start on, yeah, do Houston first. Alright, uh, seven, okay, those, those will both be done in seven turns. What do we got, 34 people? Uh, we should be, yeah, we'll be able to afford, yeah, we'll be able to afford another factory next turn. More rebellions. The Poles keep rebelling in the same area. Whoa, look at this. The Congo. Jesus. It took a few places. Yeah, I mean, I would... I would... I would go after Germany because they're falling apart, but their military is just way, way too massive. And no matter how many, no matter how many rebellions they have, they're not going to, they're not going to make a dent into their military. The only way that's going to happen is if uh, someone with an actual military comes in. And does it on their own.
which the only person who can do that is me because I don't think any of the AI is, I don't think that any war plans were set up in this scenario for the uh, other nations. So it's just going to be, I'm the only driver of this game. Um, I guess I could, I could start going for uh, large factories here. Oh, Winnipeg just finished their mechanized. I'll bring them up to 40. Then we'll need two more upgrades. Uh, Winnipeg. And we will be able to start Mexico City's final mechanized upgrade next turn. Four turns till turbo jet testing's done. And we should. We'll be able to start the the jets soon after that. The soon the jet. <laughs> the jet research facility. The jet prototype. The jet propulsion lab, that's what they're called. We'll be able to start the jet propulsion labs pretty soon after that. We just gotta finish these major city upgrades. And yeah. And then we gotta ooh. Okay, well now, we'll now we'll wait and get the final factory out here. And then start the research facility and then continue to upgrade all this stuff. So, Houston. Yeah, Houston's up to 30 now. Actually, did Houston? I think Houston... Oh, fuck! Okay, we need one more factory in Houston. Shit. Alright, uh, well... Start it here. Do that one. Um, yeah, there we go. That's going to be five factories. Well, that cottage factory we pump out will go pretty quick, I think. So that's good. And I think turbojet testing will be done as soon as that Winnipeg factory is done. And then we'll start, um, we'll probably start the uh, Houston Cottage Factory and then start the Jet Propulsion Labs. Oh, food is going down the shitter. Should be buying a lot of it with our money. Our money's going down the shitter too. Negative 91, how the fuck did that, oh, okay, we, oh. We massively increased spending for food. Yikes. Okay, now advanced physics. That's going to take, ooh, that's going to take a little bit. 29 turns. Yeah, it's getting longer and longer. Oh, uh, fuck, what was I saying? I forgot. Shit, I was saying something, I can't remember. Oh, Denver, oh yeah. Oh, Denver's the capital, that's why it has an extra amount of stuff uh we will be able to start be able to start that final cottage factory yeah yeah i forgot what i was saying completely Oh yeah, I need, I'm gonna need to, 
All I really need to do is make enough money to maintain myself and then we'll be able to buy as much food as we want. Because, you know, producing resources, producing money from all these resource cities or fucking whatever they're called. Doing appliances and shit is way cheaper than fucking blowing manpower on farms and shit. Actually, I think I'll, uh... I'll put... I'll put all these ten on appliances. I'll put anything that I'm not working on on appliances. And we'll see how hard that hits my resource situation. Because we need to maintain money. And I, I still got a lot of playroom. We're not losing, we're not losing a crazy amount, but you know, that, that money starts to go fucking quick. When it goes, it goes quick. 6246, yeah, we're making about 200 million now. Yeah, that's pretty good. 116 million. Going towards buying food, <laughs> that's a lot. I mean, yeah, if... if oh shit, how, much, how hard does that hit my... 310, 220, uh, 270, 210, okay, so yeah, we're definitely... The margin's getting closer, but we, we're still running a surplus with, uh... With our shit. We need to start a... Uh, start the final mechanized upgrade at Winnipeg. Oh, fuck, it's 52 minutes. Okay, jeez, that just flew by. Okay. That's weird. L like, literally nothing's happening, but that flew the fuck by. Um. Well, yeah, I think we'll call it here. We just, uh. We got a lot of factories, or a lot of cities, up to their mechanized status. We are very close to the end of the tech tree. We are starting to, uh, we're starting to get all of the... All of the side projects that we need, all the, uh, you know, the, the specialized research centers, the jet propulsion lab, um, maybe, maybe the uh, orbital science lab, maybe if I really want advanced jet fighters, uh, the rocket lab. We got everything we need, and we're ready to build the liquid fuel engines and start cranking ballistic missiles out. And then, I, I guess I could spam, I might, I don't know if I want to spam attack submarines, maybe. I'm not sure. But, yeah, we need these jet fighters. We need maybe submarines, maybe, maybe a lot of these, a lot of these advanced ships, but we're going to need, oh, we only need, we're going to need a bunch of naval academies, though, for other research. Naval radar picket. Oh, I think, oh, I think the only thing we need Naval Academies for is the Naval Radar Picket. So we don't need... Okay, yeah, it's not going to be too bad. But yeah, the, these ships. Ballistic missiles. Potentially submarines. We got super carriers right there, which I think jet... Maybe... I, I think all the jets can land on those, maybe? I'm not sure. And then all these jets. And I maybe all this mechanized shit. Although for all this, all this extra mechanized stuff, we're gonna need to go. We're gonna, we're gonna need to go all the way back and research every other mechanized technology. And same thing if we want these engineers, marines, and shit. But I think we'll just stick with these heavy units. But yeah, there we go. Um. So yeah, the the plan changed to Germany. Then I saw the uh, the status of the German military, the plan went back to the Japanese, and yeah. Ooh, I... There we go. And we are on turn 306. I think we got to like turn, uh, we got to turn like 500 or something before anything happened in the previous video. So I think we're doing really, really damn well. We are unbelievably far ahead in technology compared to pre the previous game.
way better in manpower, way better in industry, way better in everything. So this one, I think I'll get it. And if I ever do another another special scenario, uh, I'm never allying anybody ever again because the AI is stupid as shit. So yeah, uh, if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So thank you for watching.